It is something that people have been discussing this week, creationism. The National Trust's been defending its decision to include references to creationist theory in its state-of-the-art visitor centre at the Giants Causeway. The ev- evangelical umbrella group here, the Caleb Foundation, has welcomed the move. They wouldn't come on the programme to talk about it, though. Uh, so should this religious belief have been included in the presentation, which is essentially about science and geology? Professor Richard Dawkins is on Talkback now. Good afternoon. Hello. What do you think? Um, they say that it's, it shows all sides, if you like. Well, my understanding is that the exhibition actually does take the proper scientific view, uh, which is, of course, laudable. It would be a scandal if they didn't. But that they also are paying some sort of lip service to a sort of balanced view that we have to take account of creationist nutcases who think the world is only 6,000 years old. And that's wrong. That should not be done by an institution as respectable as the National Trust. Well, they say, uh, and I quote, we reflect in a small part of the exhibition that the causeway played a role in the historic debate about the formation of the earth and that for some people this debate continues today. The historical part is absolutely fine because, of course, it is true that it it played a a, a part in in the history of the debate. However, there is no debate anymore. There is no debate. The matter is settled. This is a matter of scientific fact. It's not a matter of opinion. Um, it's all very well for the, for the National Trust to be balanced when it's a matter of opinion, but not when it's a matter of fact. I've got a couple of people on the line about this. Uh, David texted us, and, uh, and we've called him. Uh, Ken's on the line too. Uh, you've heard Richard Dawkins there, David. What, what do you think? What do you believe? I think uh, Richard Dawkins is uh, keeping back uh, the information that maybe the public don't hear very often, which is that there are a lot of scientists who believe in creation. He said a moment ago that uh, trust, that the National Trust, and he used the word respect. In other words, it will be disrespectful to believe in creation. Yet, he has had debates and talked to a lot of scientists who believe in creation. But in a program like this and other programs, he wouldn't give the public that information. There is no scientific dispute about the age of the Earth. The age of the Earth is billions of years. It's true that there are some scientists who believe in creation in the sense that God made the world in the first place. There are no respectable scientists who believe that the world is less than billions of years old. Do you, do you believe, David, that the giant causeway is only 6,000 years old? Well, you see, the, the dating methods which they use have to be questioned and that would go into another debate, whether it's carbon dating or whatever they... It's not carbon dating. It's nothing to do with carbon dating. Yes, I know. I understand that's only thousands of years, but I hadn't finished my sentence yet. But I do know that there is a dispute about whether these dating methods are correct or not. And then Mr. Dawkins would go to the geological column, which does not exist. Although there are parts of a column that they would name the geological column of which they date fossils, of which they date rocks, but there's nowhere in the world where there is a geological column. But that's another piece of information that they would not tell the public. Well, look, I'm sorry, this is just complete nonsense. Um, this is a scientific matter. This is not a matter of opinion. The dating of the rocks is absolutely rock solid as rock-solid as anything in science. There's no doubt about that. There are plenty of decent arguments in science, arguments, debates about things that that scientists disagree about. Scientists do not disagree about the fact that the Earth is billions of years old. Ken McFarlane's on the line. He says that that he's a Christian. Uh, What's your view of this, Ken? Do you think that, that it's right that this point of view be put across in the National Trust's exhibition? Well, I think, yes, it's, it's, I think it's, maybe it's only proper that it at least be given a small um, uh, airing there. But uh, the reason I phoned in is simply because um, the debate often tends to lean to the view that Christians believe in a 6,000-year-old earth and non-Christians believe in an old earth. I would be presumptuous enough to call myself a Christian, and yet I believe in an old earth. And I well, good for you. I mean, that's absolutely right. And there are many, many Christians who believe in an old earth. Yeah, I, I would advocate the, the I would advocate the views of a Dr. Hugh Ross, and I would invite anybody to check out his website. I think he makes a very good uh, scientific argument for an old Earth, and also he makes a very good argument for the authenticity of Scripture. He argues very strongly that Scripture is the infallible Word of God, and I believe that is. Um, I suppose at the end of the day, I'm saddened that that uh, Christians, a lot of them, just tend to 
um, shows up on this issue, and I believe it's an issue that is certainly worthy of debate in a, in a Christian environment. And it saddens me whenever I find people just adopt one attitude. It, it does, it, and, and I'm sorry to go on, but it, I believe the, the those that hold to the the, the view that they are only six thousand years old dogmatically do great harm to the to the Christian message in this day when our young people are. Uh, are being forced to decide one way or the other when the evidence would tend to suggest that the earth is indeed very old. Richard Dawkins, would you agree with Ken yes, on I that? Would. I mean, it's, it's absolutely true that, that um, respectable, educated theologians all agree that the earth is billions of years old. They believe that God created the earth, but billions of years ago. Marie has uh, texted in, she says, as a fully paid up member of the Flat Earth Society, I believe in creationism as well. <laughs> Good uh, her, yes. Somebody else says, uh, David says, I trust that followers of the Finn McCool theory will be included at the Causeway yes, exhibition. Well, they, they are actually. Yes, okay. <laughs> um, and I'm with them on that one, I must yes. admit. Although um, there's also, uh, you wouldn't have seen it, Richard, but there's, a, there's been quite a fun advertisement running in our papers here for a certain brand of bread. Uh, and uh, the, the columns at the Giant's Causeway are, are made of sliced loaves, which uh, uh, which looks rather good too. Okay. But yeah, um, yeah. is there room, though? I suppose, given that this is a sort of interpretive centre, uh, and it's somewhere that people go for fun as well, and there is the Finn McCool theory there as well, is that perhaps? a reason why there should be the creationist theory too? Well, I mean, I think it's fine to put, to put in uh, legends, um, old, old Irish legends, that's, that's great. Um, and if you put the creationism one in as another old legend, that's great too. And it's perfectly fine to talk about historical disputes with, with Hutton and, and the old, old geologists. That's fine as a matter of history. But don't represent it as though there's some kind of a contemporary debate uh, between scientists today as to whether the, the Earth is thousands of years old or thousands of millions of years old. There is no contemporary debate. By all means, talk about myths and legends and history, but don't muddle it up with science. David's still there, I think, aren't you? Hello, David. Hello, Wendy. Hi. I mean, I've got a, quite a few texts and tweets and so on coming in here. I'll just read you one which is a bit of a, a representation, if you like. It's from Alan, who says, Here come the creationist nutters. These backward attitudes are why I left Northern Ireland. Well, I would like to say that there is other websites to check out too. There's a, there's a Mr. Gary Parker, there's Ken Ham, and these are well-known men who can, in a civilised way, without, I hope, insulting people, can put, put forward their point of view in a scientific manner. Now, this isn't about tying the earth down, like Mr. Dawkins said, to 6,000 years. Although there are those who believe in science and through the genealogy of those mentioned in the Bible... It's certainly less than 10,000 years. But I would just like to add that a proper debate, a scientific debate, has been happening in different conference centres throughout the world. It's not just a moment or two on the radio where someone like myself talks to Mr Dawkins. The debate has been going on. It's just that the public doesn't see the proper scientific debate. Richard Dawkins? Well, I'm sorry, that just isn't true. I mean, Gary Parker and Ken Ham are neither of them respectable scientists. They're both members of the Creation Research Association. I would not America. say that they were not respectable. Well, and I would say that everybody's got a point of view. Well, and everybody's got a point of view. Way. What about the woman who just phoned in and said, why not have the Flat Earth Society? It's exactly the you same see, thing. But you see, if that woman's point of view was heard in a scientific way, she's entitled to do that. And what we're saying is, let's hear the two sides in a scientific way and, and, and let the public make up their mind. But what I can tell is that whenever this is challenged at all, you get agitated and you get disrespectful. Is that a, is that a po- read a book. Go and read a book about the science. Don't read Ken Ham and Gary Parker, who are not respectable scientists. Go and read a book um, such as Jerry Coyne's Why Evolution is True, uh, such as my The Greatest Show on Earth, such as any book by any scientist, and you'll find unanimity that the Earth is billions of years old. The point of view we are saying, which is that scientists argue about this, you might just as well say they argue about the flat Earth. They don't. Well, there is, there is a possibility to put your point forward with that argument, and um, let the public make up their mind. The problem I have is, are the public getting the right information to make up their mind? They can go and read lots and lots of books. They can go and read shelf miles of books in libraries. It's all there to go and read 
in museums. Go and look up the facts. I've got Hartford Arnold on the line about this. Hello. Hello, Linda. So, uh, I, I was listening to Richard Dawkins there speaking, and he referred to me as being a nutcase. Well, not personally. Not personally, <laughs> but in general. He was referring to a Christian, uh, born, or a creationist, so call him whatever you like. All right, I, I take that nutcase. I will just say ignorant. There's, it's no crime being ig- ignorant. You're not a nutcase, but if you are a young earth creationist, I'm sorry to say, sir, you're ignorant. Well, you see, and I also have another complaint, Wendy. Yesterday morning, a creationist was likened to the mythical story of Phil McCoo on uh, uh, one of the colours on the morning show. Well, I, 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 I have no control over that, I'm afraid. But uh, I, I suspect that yes, what happened was that when Finn McCool and question. creationism are both in this same piece in, in the National Trust building. Yes, but it's always the question, how to bite his tongue and just go with the flow? I'm just fed up with it. We were always mapped up and jeered at. And I was just like, Mr. Richard Dawkins, apologise to me, honour that I am not a nutcase. I've apologised to you. You're not a nutcase. You are ignorant. Oh, oh, I'm ignorant now? Yes. Well, sir, will I tell you something? One day you'll bend the knee just like everybody else. Before you're there. I have no more time to talk to you, sir. Okay. Have a good day. Same to you. Uh, Richard Dawkins, a couple of people texting in uh, and indeed getting in touch and saying, uh, why... Or is, this, is there this fear about creationism being included? That's the way they're putting it, saying you know, lots of myths and legends are on display yes, in museums. I mean, I'm, I'm all for myths and legends, and so long as the, as, the, as the creationist story, the Adam and Eve story, is treated as a myth or a legend, there's no problem with it at all. I mean, it goes along with Finn McCool. Um, it goes along with any of the legends that you will find all over the world. They're very colourful, they're very beautiful. They're just not scientific truth. That's the difference. Mrs. White has called in about this. Hello, Mrs. White. Hello, good afternoon, Wendy. Yes, I'd like to say, uh, Professor Dawkins, as usual, engages in ad hominem attacks against Christians. So he's now... Uh, Not I Christians, creationists. Uh, I'm Christian and I'm a creationist, sir. But the two, two aren't necessarily the same, are they? As far as I'm concerned, they are. Well, they are in your case, but in other people's cases. We heard, from, we heard from Ken, who, for instance, who didn't case. agree. I, I just like to say that Professor Dawkins has stated no uh, reputable scientist believes in a young earth and creation. That is a blatant lie. I can name four, and he knows one of them. Professor Andy McIntosh. Oh, for God's Professor sake, Edgar Andrews. Yes, yes, yes. Dr. Yes. Steve Lloyd and Mr. Paul Garner. All Christians... All young earth creationists and all reputable scientists, sir. Well, okay, I know the first two. I don't know the second two. And um, I, all, all I can say is that we, we can't do it by numbers, but if you actually count up the numbers of scientists, you'll find that it's a tiny, tiny minority. But never mind about counting numbers. Just go and look at the evidence. It's overwhelmingly convincing. I'm pretty sure you've never looked at it. May I please encourage you to do so? How, have you looked at the evidence, Mrs. White? Have you read any of the books about um, uh, about the world being created, other than the Bible? Yes, we have. We are members of the Biblical Creation Society, of which Professor Edgar Andrews is the chairman. And they go into these matters in great detail. They research themselves, and they are reputable scientists. Even Mr. Richard Dawkins would have to agree that these men's degrees are reputable scientific degrees. They disagree with him. They agree with God's word that this earth is young. And Mr. Dawkins can call me a nutcase all he likes. Well, he's taken that back. I am intellectual. I am a thinking housewife. I look into these subjects. Let him. And do you believe that the Giants Causeway is 6,000 years old? Yes, I most certainly do. And Mr. Dawkins is not speaking to a stupid woman here. This is a thinking housewife, a Christian who's convinced that this is a young earth. Well, there are plenty of Christians who don't think that it's a, it's a young earth, including the Archbishop of Canterbury, almost all the bishops and the Pope. Uh, so. Um, you're, you're probably not in a majority of Christians. But even if you were, all I can repeat is please go and look at the evidence. You clearly haven't done so. 
William Alls asked an interesting question on Twitter, uh, Professor Dawkins. He says, how old does the World Heritage Organisation require a place to be before it's awarded that status? I have no idea about that. Um, but certainly, I mean, the, the Giant's Causeway is something like 50 or 60 million years old. See, Mrs White, there's a bit of a difference in those two uh, timescales, isn't there? I say again, categorically, I believe the Giant's Causeway is six to 7,000 years old. I have looked at the evidence. I have read the literature produced by Biblical Creation Society. As I say, uh, Professor Edgar Andrews, is a reputable scientist, reputable scientist, a highly educated man, and he believes that that is where the evidence leads. The evidence leads, and he has certainly looked at it and looked into it, the evidence leads to a conclusion that this is a young Earth. Well, he does believe that, but he's in a minority of about three. Um, I do suggest, once again, you just go and look at the evidence. Don't just listen to Edgar Andrews. Look at the evidence. Professor Dawkins, uh, quite a few texts and tweets coming in about you specifically. Thanks to, to Mrs White, because we're coming up to the news now. Kieran says, welcome to Planet Ulster, Mr Dawkins. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, someone else, uh, Mark Lund says, Richard Dawkins rocks, which is rather good in the current context. Yes. Uh, another says, please tell uh, Professor Dawkins I'm a huge fan and a friend. Uh, thank you for your work, sir. Um, and uh, some, someone else said something uh, similar, but uh, yes, uh, Richard Dawkins rocks, I think, was possibly the best. Someone else wonders if you're going to be coming to Belfast soon for a talk. Uh, no immediate plans, but it's always, it's always great to come to Belfast. Could have a bit of a debate. Yes. With some of our callers, perhaps. Yes. <laughs> Professor Dawkins, it's been good to talk to you. Thanks very much Thank indeed. Thank you very much indeed. You can keep your views coming on that. 08459 555 678. Anymore, there is no debate. The matter is settled. This is a matter of scientific fact. It's not a matter of opinion. Um, it's all very well for the, for the National Trust to be balanced when it's a matter of opinion, but not when it's a matter of fact. I've got a couple of people on the line about this. Uh, David texted us and, uh, and we've called him. Uh, Ken's on the line too. Uh, you've heard Richard Dawkins there, David. What, what do you think? What do you believe? I think uh, Richard Dawkins is uh, keeping back uh, the information that maybe the public don't hear very often, which is that there are a lot of scientists who believe in creation. He said a moment ago that... Uh, it is something that people have been discussing this week, creationism. The National Trust's been defending its decision to include references to creationist theory in its state-of-the-art visitor centre at the Giant's Causeway. The ev evangelical umbrella group here, the Caleb Foundation, has welcomed the move. They wouldn't come on the programme to talk about it, though. Uh, so should this religious belief have been included in the presentation, which is essentially about science and geology? Professor Richard Dawkins is on Talkback now. Good afternoon. Hello. What do you think? Um, they say that it's, it shows all sides, if you like. Well, my understanding is that the exhibition actually does take the proper scientific view, uh, which is trust, that the National Trust, and use the word respect, in other words, it will be disrespectful to believe in creation. Yet, he has had debates and talked to a lot of scientists who believe in creation, but in a programme like this and other programmes, he wouldn't give the public that information. There is no scientific dispute about the age of the Earth. The age of the Earth is billions of years. It's true that there are some scientists who believe in creation in the sense that God made the world in the first place. There are no respectable scientists who believe that the world is less than billions of years old. Do you, do you believe, David, that the giant causeway is only 6,000 years old? Well, you see, the, the dating methods... Is of course, laudable. It would be a scandal if they didn't but that they also are paying some sort of lip service to a sort of balanced view that we have to take account of creationist nutcases who think the world is only 6,000 years old. And that's wrong. That should not be done by an institution as respectable as the National Trust. Well, they say, uh, and I quote, we reflect in a small part of the exhibition that the causeway played a role in the historic debate about the formation of the earth and that for some people this debate continues today. They the say, historical part is absolutely fine because, of course, it is true that it, that it played a, a, a part in the, in the history of the debate. However, there is no debate. Which they use have to be questioned and that would go into another debate, whether it's carbon dating or whatever they... It's not carbon dating, it's nothing to do with carbon dating. Yes, I know, I understand that's only thousands of years, but I hadn't finished my sentence yet. But I do know that there is a dispute 
about whether these dating methods are correct or not. And then Mr. Dawkins would go to the geological column, which does not exist. Although there are parts of a column that they would name the geological column, of which they date fossils, of which they date rocks, but there's nowhere in the world where there is a geological column. But that's another piece of information that they would not tell the public.